Mike Schmaltz here with head Xavier women's soccer coach Nate Lee. A tough night for you tonight. You fall to the Dayton Flyers in overtime. Dayton held a hefty shot advantage for you. A night where you were able to kind of hold them off for the most part, just not able to generate enough opportunities on the offensive side. Yeah, uh, credit to Dayton. I think they deserve to win the game. I thought they played harder. Um, they took that goal. She took it really well. So it was a, a very well struck ball. Um, and yeah, I don't want to be a team that holds off another team particularly on our, on our home field. So whenever that statement is fair, uh, it's disappointing. Understand, and you know, you're looking for more as you head into conference play. But talk about your defense tonight. Carly Afano played some good balls in the air, was able to hold off some, some of those low drives off some of those restarts. Yeah, so we play mostly with three center backs, Carly, Maddie, um, and Addie. And I thought they did a good job today. I mean, if you hold a team scoreless for over 90 minutes, right. uh, I think you, you want to see a result by your team. Um, they made some extra effort plays. I thought they defended their box and were pretty brave tonight, and that's something we've been asking out of them. Tony Pizarro, also pretty aggressive on some saves, was able to chip one away really in the first half that probably would have been a Dayton goal, chipped it off and, and it just grazed the left post. Sure. Uh, Tony was good. Um, I think most of their shots weren't the most menacing, but they got through once in the second half um, with, with Alexis, and Tony came out very brave, really cut down the angle um, and kept it a 0-0 game. So, And there's nothing she could have done about that last shot. You're going to get some rest here between this game and Creighton coming up to open up conference play. 4-4-2 four, four, and two in the non-conference. You took on some defending conference champions, played them all pretty tight. How, how well do you feel you're prepared to go into Big East play? Well, I'm really looking forward to this week of training. So we've played uh, 10 games right. in 10 play dates. Mm -hmm. So we haven't had a full week of practice. And where we are as a team, I think we really need one. So I think that'll give us an opportunity to, to fine tune some of the stuff we're trying to work on uh, that we can't when we're always preparing for a game. Um, we need a mentality shift. This was a poor weekend for us. I thought we did a disservice uh, to the program with our performance tonight in front of a great crowd. Like we asked the community to come out and I think they did. Um, and it's a beautiful night. And I'm just really sort of let down by the energy and the passion that we showed tonight. Musketeers will get a chance to regroup following a 1-0 overtime loss to the Dayton Flyers. Creighton coming up on the Big East Digital Network over the weekend.